सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी इन्वर्शन You saw the jump. So the best part is use the inversions. I want to play all my chords in this one set. So using inversion makes your life easier, very very easy. I'm speaking as well as playing chords. Hey guys, hope you all are doing really well. My name is Lionel and I'm your keyboard teacher on Music Pandit. the best place to learn music online before we get on with the topic i want to quickly remind you that we publish new videos every week if you are new on the channel or if you have not subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the videos in the future so let's get on with the topic now so today's topic is going to be inversions So what are inversions? Inversions are nothing but rearrangement of the chords. I'm going to give you a small demo and after that I'm going to explain you why you should use inversions. So let's see the video. As you can see in the video I'm playing a very fast melody in the right hand and I'm ch changing the chords really quick but how is that possible it is because I'm very good at using inversions now if your right hand is very busy it is very hard for you to change chords very quick because take for example if I was not using inversions and still if I have to play this song it will be like this now watch my left hand more than my right hand okay so first chord is G minor Second chord is E flat. Third chord is B flat and the fourth one is F. So, take for example, the melody what you're playing in the right hand is too busy where you can't focus on the left hand. So, there are chances of you making mistakes. So, you saw the jump. So, from G minor to E flat, it was a huge step. G minor E flat. So when you're playing really fast, there are chances of you making mistakes. So you might play a different chord which you are not supposed to play. So the best part is use the inversions. So in order to use inversions, the first step what you need to know is you need to know the chords of the song. Correct? So in this context, you have G minor, E flat, B flat, and F. So What I'm going to do is I'm going to invert my G minor. So G minor is like this. So I'm going to remove D and I'm going to apply it here. Okay? So my G minor is like this. Now why did I do that? Why? Because I want to play all my chords in this one set. Okay? Just this one set. I want to play all my chords there. I don't like to spill over to the next octave or somewhere else. And to jump between chords, I will never do that. So for that I'm going to place my G minor here for E flat. Now E flat is here, which is like really far. So what will I do? I will just put it in this octave. That is my first octave. So G minor is done. E flat is done. Now second, uh, I mean the third chord is B flat. So B flat is far, correct? Because E flat is here, B flat is here. So it's quite a huge jump. So I'm just going to remove F, put it here. Still it is far. Now I'm going to remove d and put it here okay now it is close by so i have my g minor i have e flat i have b flat so all the chords are in one set and the last one is f so f you can manage playing here but i would suggest inverting that as well so i'll remove c and i will put it here so my f is done so i have my g minor e flat b flat f So all my chords are in one set. So now when I'm playing my melody in the right hand, it is easy for me to just shift between chords because I don't need to focus there at all. I have to just focus on my melody. So 
using inversion makes your life easier very very easier so my suggestion is use these inversions to all the songs whatever you will be playing i will give you one more example because uh, b flat can be a little hard for beginners to understand so i will take c major scale so take for example if the chords are c a minor d minor and g so how are you going to invert these chords so first is c second is a minor just check the jump c a minor and third chord is d minor and the fourth one is g so here in this example what you can see is you are busy shifting chords in your left hand so you don't have enough space for you to focus on your right hand so let me make this easy so c i'm going to play it there itself so a minor instead of jumping here let me invert it let me get it closer to c so i will remove e and put it here still far i'll remove c and put it here so now it is closer to c so if i play c and if my next chord is a minor i'll just move one finger further so that is my a minor so c a minor now the next chord is d minor d minor is yeah you can use the native position that is d f a and the last one that is g so g instead of jumping here what you can do is remove this d put it here so you have your g here so c one finger further a minor then you get these two fingers forward d minor and then just move these two fingers one step forward that is g so you have all your chords in one set so that should be your main motive using inversions so you have your c a minor d minor and g so now because these chords are very easy you can see i'm speaking as well as playing chords so that means i'm not focusing on my left hand at all so if this is the case then you can focus on your right hand and play any complicated melody so that should be your main motive so practice inversions really well so if you like this video and if you want to learn this technique in detail please subscribe to music pundit and you will have all these lessons in detail and remember one thing uh while i was explaining in this video i was going really fast with the chord changes and all other things but in the lesson i will be explaining it to you really really slow so please subscribe to music pandit and start your learning right away thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you enjoyed today's topic and it was useful to you so please hit the like and subscribe button along with the bell icon so you don't miss out on any important things If there is any topic you want to know more about just comment down below and we will definitely discuss it. I will see you in the next video until then keep playing. So signing off your keyboard pundit Lionel